scripture. Amen. Amen. It says, I have been young and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Yes. yes. Amen. Amen. So this was David talking. Yes. Yes. Amen. I looked up the word bread. All right now. Okay. And bread meant. Um, I, it took, I looked it up in Hebrew. All right. Now. And it meant uh, in Hebrew it meant uh, laham. Lahem right. means Bethlehem. Right. Okay? Yeah. And uh, Jesus was born where? Bethlehem. In Bethlehem. Right. Thank you. All right. I know I got some Sunday school and some Bible reading. Yeah. Right. Right. Bethlehem right. means what? The house of God. Because Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Yes. All right. Amen. That's okay. And the writer here is describing that he was young, now he's old. All right. And uh, old doesn't mean an age. Well, all right now. Old is maturity. Mm -hmm. All right now. Because you have a lot of people in the church who are old. Right. Right. Been in church for years, but they haven't Amen. learned anything. Because right. they're still on milk. I know I can't get no help. Oh, my God. You have right. some young people, because I work with young people who have been through some things that we haven't been through mm -hmm. that we'll never be through. Mm -hmm. But they, they have uh, experience that we haven't experienced before, and that makes them old. All right, now, all right. You have some people who are old but act like kids. You have some people in high school but have a mentality um, in grade school. There's something psychologically wrong with them, something emotional wrong with them. But we need to know that David says, I was young, but now I'm old. All right, now. Come on, now. All right, now. I'm going to teach a little bit. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So I looked up bread and I went to Exodus. Amen. If you flip your Bible to Exodus, I'm doing a little turn. It says, And thou shalt set up upon the table showbread before me always. Yes. Yeah. Showbread. Yeah. Showbread. Yeah. Showbread in the Old Testament was bread that was new. Okay. Yeah. How many people like new bread? <laughs> you go to the store and you look at the date. Yeah. And you try to find the bread with the longest date that it has on it so what? So it won't expire. And then if you are a child of God and you don't have a lot of money, you may go to some of these nickel and dime stores that have bread. And you make sure there ain't no mold on it, but the bread is close to the day. But all you know is you need some bread in the house. <laughs> Hallelujah. So turn to your neighbor. Oh, I forgot to give y'all my topic. My topic is never again. Turn to your neighbor and say never again. Never again. Never again. I'm going somewhere. Y'all work with me now. All right, let's go to the book of Mark. I'm sorry, first seven. All right now. First seven. All right now. Chapter 21. Yeah. Make your time. Uh, starting at verse 1, 1 through 6. Do, is there a reader in the house? I like having a reader. <laughs>